In Los Angeles, police say they are searching for a suspect in the killing of a transgender person last week. 32-year-old Cassidy Nathan Vickers was shot in the chest in Hollywood late Thursday night. Vickers died of the gunshot wound. In this year alone, 221 transgender people from 26 countries have been killed, according to the Trans Murder Monitoring Project, though it warns the number is likely higher. This Sunday, cities across the world mark the International Transgender Day of Remembrance. In memory of those murdered due to anti-transgender hatred or prejudice, events took place in Melbourne, Calgary, Hong Kong, Manila, Warsaw, and elsewhere. U.S. cities also took part, including Baltimore, the scene of a number of high-profile hate crimes. Caroline Temmerman, Division Chief of Arlington County Parks and Natural Resources, said the day's event was a painful but important reminder. When, when there's memorials for, for folks... It, 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 it just tonight's event just brings all that back to me and I don't want to go to them I don't want to see them and yet I have to because I can't let those people die and not realize that it's um, not recognizing that they were just trying to be themselves and somebody killed them for that While murder is the most extreme manifestation of prejudice against transgender people, more common forms can include expulsion from public schools, harassment, and limited job opportunities. Monica Yorkman was also at the Baltimore event. So I really think that we need to get over ourselves. We spend so much time um, defining who we are. We already know who we are. We're all human beings. The Day of Remembrance in Baltimore received official recognition from the mayor's office, and organizers said they hope that it will also pressure the city and state to effectively provide better housing, employment, and health options specifically for the transgender community.